Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maisha LaVey and today I will be showing you guys how I watercolor my fur. I'm starting off on this boiling hot water in my sink and taking this Adore pink dye as well as this Living Color red dye. Now they did not have the red dye in the door so that's why I got Living Color but I'm basically just gonna add this to this boiling water and I'm gonna mix everything together. I just want to let you guys know that if you do this watercolor and you're going for a brighter or more richer color I would advise to use less water because the more water you use the more you dilute the color or use more of the dye now I can't tell you which one is gonna work but I am giving you guys a little tips because of my mistakes um, my fur was coming out extremely light like the pink was like oh my gosh it was so light and I wanted it to be the way it looks like when it's in the water but as you know this is white fur and it just wasn't coming out like that so use more color or less water now um you're gonna see me just continue to add and add and add because i didn't want to go ahead and pour the whole bottle in because for one i didn't want to run out of um i didn't want to run out of the dye and also i did not want to mess it up and create a color that i didn't want so always start off small and you can always improve your color instead of just messing it up the first time Baby, don't you hear me now? so you guys i let the fur sit in the water because i really really wanted this dye to soak up into this fur and now we're just gonna squeeze all of the excess water out and we're going to clean our sink out. We're going to let the water out and everything. And you guys are going to see. We think we're done while we're cleaning up. But we're not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rinse the fur. And try to get all of the excess dye off. Because I don't want it to run everywhere. And as you can see. The fur is just lighter than what it was at first like it's a totally different color and at this point i'm like no 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 this is not what i wanted so we're gonna start this process all over this is how it's looking it's a pretty pink but it just wasn't what i was going for so we're gonna take our red living color and we're gonna add this to our water now i want to go ahead and let you guys know that i did use both bottles of the pink dye as well as the full bottle of the red dye to achieve the color that i will have in the end but um the red dye did help a lot and this is when i started to notice that the more water that i have the more the color diluted because i really thought that me adding this red dye was just going to change the color of my boot all all around i just thought my boot was going to be a totally different color but it wasn't so at this point i'm like cool i'm happy yay we got a pink now this video was supposed to be a multi-dye fur tutorial i know i promised you guys a multi-dye fur tutorial but it did not work out like that um i kind of messed it up so if you guys still want to see that don't hesitate to comment that down below so i can go ahead and show you guys how i usually color my fur as well as doing it with multiple colors now i'm just combing out the fur and you want to make sure that you do this so that your fur don't get tangled please don't color your fur if it is dirty 
I have a video on me cleaning my fur. I will list that down below in the description box. So check that out. I love the way the fur came out, the way that it has two different pinks. Um, it is so pretty. I will be making a video of me constructing these boots together using the glue method. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that post notification bell so that you can get notified when I upload new videos. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.